Namaste and welcome back to Easy Breezy Life. Today's video is dedicated to an ingredient we frequently come across in skincare products. It is touted as this miraculous ingredient that hydrates your skin from within, removes fine lines and plumps up your skin. Yes, I am talking about hyaluronic acid. But I am not making this video to recommend products to you. What I am going to do with this video is try and make you understand what exactly is hyaluronic acid, what does it do, who needs it in their skincare and what sort of formulation is best for your skin type so that you can make an informed decision about what product of hyaluronic acid you want to invest in based on availability and budget. So from now on till the end of the video, I will be referring to hyaluronic acid as just HA. It's just more convenient that way. But please do not get confused between HA, that is hyaluronic acid, and AHA, that is alpha hydroxy acid, which is an exfoliant. But before we begin, if you like what you see so far, please subscribe to my channel and do not forget to tap on the bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. So the first thing, what is hyaluronic acid? Hyaluronic acid is a substance that is naturally found in our body, not just in the skin, in the eyes, in our joints and various other places. The HA found naturally in our body is a very, very large molecule with a very high molecular mass. So the next question, what does it do in our body? There are various functions that HA performs depending on its site, but I am going to restrict myself to its function in skin. So in skin, HA is mainly involved in skin or tissue repair. It also has an anti-inflammatory property. But the most important property for which it is exploited by the cosmetic industry is its property to hydrate the skin. It is said that one gram of HA can hold up to one liter of water. And so because of this property of attracting water towards itself, it is known as a humectant. The next question, is the HA that is found naturally in our body the same thing as what is found in cosmetics? As I said before, HA is a very large molecule and inside our body, it works just great in tissue repair. But if we were to use this large molecule HA on our skin, first of all, it would not be stable outside the body. Secondly, even if we could stabilize this HA molecule and bring it outside the body, on the skin, it would just sit and moisturize the outer layer of skin it will not be able to penetrate into the deeper layers of skin at all. So in order to make this large HA penetrate through the skin, we need to make its size smaller. And to do that, we make sodium hyaluronate, which is basically a sodium salt of hyaluronic acid. Sodium hyaluronate is much smaller in size and can easily penetrate to the deeper layers of skin. There are several other salts of hyaluronic acid that are used in cosmetics, but most commonly sodium hyaluronate is used. So we will restrict ourselves to sodium hyaluronate. Sodium hyaluronate too does a wonderful job at holding water and thus this also is a humectant. Next thing we need to know is Will applying sodium hyaluronate on our skin deeply hydrate it? The answer is yes and no. As I said before, sodium hyaluronate traps all the water from the environment and transports it into the deeper layers of skin. But at the same time, it has the ability to attract water from the deeper layers of skin and expose it to the outside environment also which is why it is extremely important to use an occlusive on the skin which is basically another category of moisturizer which occludes or blocks the loss of water from the skin what an occlusive does is it forms a barrier and so does not allow the water to escape from the skin to the environment examples of occlusives that you will easily find in ingredient lists of any moisturizer are liquid paraffin or lanolin or silicones or even mineral oils. The good thing is that most moisturizers containing sodium hyaluronate already have an occlusive present in it. 
so you don't need to buy an occlusive separately to trap all the moisture in if you are using sodium hyaluronate the next thing that comes to mind is who needs ha actually everyone everyone's skin ages aging of skin can be internal which happens with advancing age or it could be external that is damage due to uv rays whether aging is internal or external it reduces the skin's capacity to form hyaluronic acid and honestly the best way to slow down skin aging is to actually take care of your body have a healthy balanced diet have enough water every single day but that seems to be really difficult these days next thing to know is in what forms is ha available in the market well with respect to the skin it is available in three forms dermal injections oral tablets and products that can be applied topically dermal injections are the most effective way to get rid of any signs of skin aging dermal injections use hyaluronic acid and not sodium hyaluronate the benefit of oral hyaluronic acid to skin is still under study now coming to topical application ha or rather sodium hyaluronate is available in many forms but we'll be discussing three most common forms that is concentrated serums creams or moisturizers and sprays next thing you need to know about ha you must have seen many many products saying that it contains pure hyaluronic acid or 100% hyaluronic acid or 99% hyaluronic acid what do they mean it just means that brands are trying to fool you first of all when they say hyaluronic acid it is never hyaluronic acid it is always sodium hyaluronate second thing the maximum concentration of sodium hyaluronate that can be used in cosmetic products is 2% which means that a bottle of pure hyaluronic acid or 100% hyaluronic acid has only 2% of hyaluronic acid the other 98% is made up of inactives or it may have other actives such as vitamin c vitamin e or something else so you have to remember that any product that claims to be pure ha or 100% or 99% or anything more than 2% is just lying to you In fact a concentration of 4% or more is actually known to dry out your skin because what it does is it absorbs moisture from the deeper layers of your skin and brings it to the superficial layers where it is extremely prone to evaporation so who should use sodium hyaluronate what is the age or skin type that would be benefited by sodium hyaluronate in their skin care regime The answer is that anyone who has seen any signs of aging on their skin such as fine lines or wrinkles or in general dullness of skin can be benefited by hyaluronic acid but it is important to remember that ha can only reduce the appearance of fine lines by temporarily hydrating the skin it does not plump up the skin until and unless it is used in an injectable form sodium hyaluronate to be specific is safe for all skin types be it dry skin oily skin combination skin sensitive skin acne prone skin sodium hyaluronate is a rather inert substance which generally does not cause any allergic reactions nor does it cause any pore clogging but remember that a product with sodium hyaluronate will also have other ingredients although sodium hyaluronate is neither pore clogging nor allergy causing the other ingredients might not be so forgiving so if you start using a hyaluronic acid product which has sodium hyaluronate in it and develop some sort of a reaction or your pores get clogged it is unlikely that sodium hyaluronate was responsible for it one of the other ingredients in the ingredient list would be the culprit also because sodium hyaluronate is such an inert substance it is frequently combined with other active agents such as vitamin c vitamin e even aha's and bha's next thing about ha that is an absolute must know is what form should i use ha in concentrated serums creams or sprays let's talk about concentrated serums first i suggest sodium hyaluronate serum to people with extremely dry skin and residing in dry arid low humidity areas 
and it is a must that such people after using a sodium hyaluronate serum also use a moisturizer with an occlusive that suits their skin type for someone who lives in a humid environment and has dry skin a moisturizer with sodium hyaluronate and a suitable occlusive is more than enough same thing goes for people with oily skin combination skin or any other skin type a moisturizer with hyaluronic acid or sodium hyaluronate and a good occlusive that suits their skin is more than enough the reason behind me not recommending concentrated serums to everybody is any concentrated serum or a sodium hyaluronate moisturizer can have a maximum of 2% of sodium hyaluronate so there's really no point in buying another serum just to layer it under your moisturizer when the moisturizer is doing the same thing as the serum would and i'm pretty sure a concentrated serum would be much much more expensive than a moisturizer coming to sodium hyaluronate sprays again i cannot stress enough it is extremely important to check the complete ingredient list if your hyaluronic acid spray is mostly sodium hyaluronate and water then you will require an occlusive once you've spritzed it over your face so that it doesn't dry out your skin by losing water to the environment coming to the last part what is the right way of using sodium hyaluronate on your skin sodium hyaluronate containing products must be applied to cleansed and dampened skin so that sodium hyaluronate can bind to the water molecules present on your skin and push them inside to the deeper layers and at the same time the occlusive can form a barrier over your skin and prevent any water loss from your skin to the environment all right so that was everything i know about hyaluronic acid i hope this video helped you decide what sort of ha product you want to incorporate in your skin care regime Tell me your thoughts about HA in the comment section and like and share the video and share the knowledge. I'll be back really soon with another easy breezy video. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy.